What is this image we're looking at? We see an object. It's round. In the center of the object, we see four holes. And we see it sitting on a blue background. And we would all say, this is a picture of a button. But what's much more descriptive is that level of detail we just did together. In this image, we see a picture of a lower leg. To me, it looks like it's the left lower leg because we can see the ankle bone. And then above it, we see the mark, the scar. About a five or six centimeter long by two or three millimeters wide that's depressed under the skin. It's skin colored and it's in a vertical direction down the leg. We're learning to see without bias, without a judgment. And we're making decisions about the information we see based on only what we see. In this image, we see an arm, a horizontal or oblique scar in this case. That means going across the screen in a diagonal way, just below the elbow, so on the back of an arm. This one appeared on the hand of a young woman that I got to know just weeks ago. Her story was that she had been trafficked in a country in Central America since she was age seven to age 19. This burn is the result of multiple cigarette burns in one spot that were so deep that over time it created this raised, unusual oval scar. The work of the HHRI is to document torture and scars that can occur months to years after the events. We teach doctors how to use forensic science to tell the stories behind the scars.